All right, so here I am filling the temperature of the water. Want to make sure that it's just right, not too warm, not too cold. Next, I'm going to rinse Shyla's hair and then shampoo it. Our wash usually takes about five minutes. You got to make sure you get that shampoo in really good, massage the scalp, stimulate those hair follicles. Now we're rinsing that bad boy out. Because I put so much shampoo in her hair, I only washed it once. We generally wash her hair after every swim lesson, which she has once a week. And now her hair's all wrapped up. Now we're gonna head over to the bathroom. Make sure her hair's good and dry. We're gonna put some conditioner in her hair. And then we're gonna brush it through. All right, so here you see me braiding Shyla's hair into a single braid. Generally, I like to leave the conditioner in her hair. We only condition her hair every two weeks. So this time we left it in for a couple hours. And then after I felt like it had sat on her hair for long enough, I went on ahead and rinsed it out as you see now. It's usually recommended that you rinse conditioner out the hair with cooler water so that it doesn't have the adverse effect. And I love this Garnier Fructis um, Sleek and Shine, I think is what it's called. It makes your hair so soft and it doesn't matter if you have African American hair or mixed hair or Caucasian hair, I use it on my hair and my curl pattern is a 3C or 4C and it works very well for Shyla's curl pattern as well. All right, so we are back in the bathroom and I am brushing Shyla's hair out. As you can see, her hair is nice and curly. She does have a few pieces in the front that are straighter than others. Uh, when she brushes her hair out herself, she primarily only brushes the front of her hair. So the back of her hair is always super curly and the front is like ridiculously straight. So we're trying to get her curl pattern to be even all the way through her hair. But it's taking a little time, but that's okay. We're working with it. So anyway, I am now finger combing in some leave-in conditioner and fluffing it out a little bit. And then I'm going to put some weightless oil in her hair. And I'm just going to massage that in through. It smells so good. I'm not sure where you can find the weightless oil in store. I got it off of sambeauties.com and it was like um, a buy one get one free deal. 
so I stocked up on those. I love this brush so much. I love how it separates. That's baby here in the background. Sorry guys. But it's great for curly hair. For detangling purposes. So it's nighttime. We are just going to braid Shyla's hair. She's filling it now. She's like, oh my gosh, it's so soft. <laughs> so now I'm braiding it. And then we're gonna top it all off with tying her hair down. So those edges don't come out. As you see, she's in her unicorn onesie. I'm always forgetting something, so of course, I forgot a hair tie. Just to realize that she had hair ties in her own bathroom. So, yeah, that's me. Forgetful. All right, so we're tying her hair down. It's so funny. I had this scarf when I was a little girl and it went to one of my son's dresses and I've always kept the scarf and I gave the dress away. But now Shyla uses it for bedtime. It's so cute. I hope you like my braid. That's her braid. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment down below and give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to turn that bell. Bye.